What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today, <laughs> we're getting into the eight public commitments that we received since Friday. Nine are known. The eighth was picked up at 5 o'clock tonight. His name is Jonathan Perkins. Jonathan Perkins is a three-star linebacker, according to Rivals.com, who was down to Oregon and Oklahoma. Uh, this was about three weeks ago when he had said this. He's taken two visits Apparently, he was between Jim Levitt, who was recruiting him hard. Jim Levitt, with his NFL background, figured to be a front runner on winning this kid. Uh, Tim Kish was pursuing him on our end, but when he got to OU, he felt he felt family, right? Which is what we sell. We sell family, right? Uh, he felt whatever Lincoln Riley said in the t in the text to him was what it was really going to be about, and what he said he backed up. Again, when guys are defensive coordinators at the NFL level, they seem to have the inside track on a lot of defensive recruits. But lately, man, we've been coming on strong, not just with the Magnificent Seven, who I linked in the chat and who's the latest video, but uh, just in general. Like, think about this. Our last four, five commits have been a linebacker, right? Uh, a defensive tackle, a defensive end, and two safeties. All right? Well, all of a sudden, we look really good. Oh, goodness me. Coach B already off in here, man. That's what's up. Coach, what you what you doing, Coach? Trying to hijack it. Man, coach, tell me what you want to talk about, man. You can't just drop the super chat like that and, and, and leave, bro. Like, that's, that's, come on, man. Tell me what you want to talk about. So let me see who else we got in the chat while we're doing the well, let's let's do let's do a rundown right quick. Let's see who's who is in here celebrating with us. Mark Rao says Christmas in April. Randy Brand says it's good to be a singer. I like it. Flame 4512, what's good, fam? Jake Small in the house. Doom Larius, what's up? Kirk Perez, regular on the in the comments, man. I like it. Cannonball Airsoft was good. Medical was good. Sam Teenman. Hey, what's up, fam? David Prey. Coach B with the super chat. We gotta change the color, coach. Uh Crank Star 7 in here. Let me see. Gerald Mosley in here. Let me see. What? Han Solo. I can't explain. I can explain my name. I was mad at YouTube telling me my name. I got mad. Okay. Well, I just call you Hans. All right. I just call you Hans, fam. Andrew Southard in the house. Uh, let's see. Richard B in the house. Daniel Torres in the house. I know Laurel and the girls will be through later. Uh, had a great lunch with Mama Savage today. We were talking about who was committing and how. And, and like a lot of folks, she's having a hard time keeping up, man. So let's, let's list them off right quick. And I'm going to list them off in the order for which we received them on Friday. Excuse me. Been bad in the cold. RJ Henderson was the first. Theo Weiss followed him up. So that was two back-to-back five-star recruits in, in an hour. Then four-star safety Jamal uh, Morris jumped in. We thought he was going to wait until after his visit to Texas in May. But he said, no, I'm, com I'm committing now. After him, we got Derek Green. We, uh, excuse me, after we got Jalen McKnight, or Jalen Knighton, I keep saying McKnighton for whatever reason, I think I even slipped that in the video, Jalen Knighton, 2020 running back, but in the 2019 class, right, we got Derek Green back, who decommitted because we thought family reasons were going to keep him closer to home, he came for spring game, had a great time, then we picked up Jay Hayes, who's a grad transfer from Notre Dame, started 13 games for Notre Dame last season at defensive end, had 27 tackles and a sack, but here's the thing that I think we need to take from the Jay Hayes recruitment, that's Bob Diaco. Bob Diaco brought Jay Hayes from Notre Dame. That's that, that that's already, as a defensive analyst, he's making himself known. He's making his presence known. I like that, right? Then we got the eye emojis on Sunday. On Monday, Jerry and Jones, who I made a special Twitter video for to try to help with his uh, recruitment, positive recruitment. We believe in positive recruitment. We don't tell kids that they made a bad decision because they decided not to go to us. Anyway, he decided to recruit on, uh, recruit. He decided to commit on Monday. Then Tuesday night, Lincoln Riley tweeted the eye emojis twice in one night. One of those is made public tonight. Whoa, Coach B. Let's talk about commitment. You're already over it, fam. <laughs> um, uh, th then we talked about, excuse me, after Jerry and Jones, the two eye emojis. And then earlier tonight at 5 p.m. Central Time, Jonathan Perkins made his commitment public. So that's eight we know about. That's nine total. We are the number one ranked Recruiting class for 2019 in both Rivals.com and the 24-7 composite for all the people who want to come to my channel and yell about how I don't take into account the 24-7 compo composite as being the ruler of all things. You know why I don't? It's not because I got something against 24-7. It's because ESPN's rankings are garbage. They're trash. How does Rivals have Theo Weiss 
and R.J. Henderson in the top 10 recruits nationally, in the top 100, at 3-6, and six, and, and, and R.J. Henderson can't crack the, uh, crack the top 150? I, I'm sorry. I don't. Whoa, Rachel Herrera, Boomer Sooner in the house, fam. I like it. That's what's up. Nah, man, I, I just, I, hey, I, I got a problem with that. So, no, I've been going with the Rivals rankings up until recently because, frankly, the kids look better in the Rivals uh, rankings with the stars. Now, yeah, once you get here, I don't care about your stars. Nobody cares about your stars once you get here, but these stars mean a lot to the kids. They mean a lot to the coaches. They mean a lot to folks who are watching the team rankings like us. So when you talk about high school prospects in high school, yes, take into account the stars, you know? And, and if the kid wants to Baker Mayfield it and keep notes about who gave him three and who gave him four, who gave him four, who gave him five, that's better for the kid. I'm all for that. But ESPN doesn't know what it's doing when it's recruiting. So until it starts to get in line with 24-7, and rivals when it talks about ranking kids, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about the 24/7 composite when it suits me. All right. Until then, rivals has done a great job for a very long time. I got great respect for the guys that work at, at Sooner Scoop, who is the rival site for OU. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm I'm just gonna go there, and I don't apologize for that, man. Uh, who else we got in here? Man, Rachel Herrera making the super chat. I love it, man. Hey, Coach B, <laughs> Coach B hit the ten dollars Sooner. On the reply, that's what's up. Adrian White in here, what's up? Devin, what's good? Randy Brand in here, I like it. Uh, if you got questions, drop them in the chat. I want to talk about the Epic Recruiting Weekend. I made a movie about Friday the 13th, which was when all this got started. Since then, I have made at least two different videos trying to keep up with the eye emojis, man. There's also an explainer for what the eye emojis mean for folks who are new to the recruiting scene, not necessarily new to OU. That video I made last week. I'm trying to make it uh, service-oriented since we're in the off-season and whatnot, so there's a lot of positions and what those things mean. Uh, I'm also going to yell at Mike Stoops later this week because he said he never made a great play call, and my mind is blown by that. Why would you say that out loud? Uh, so we got a lot going on here. Whoa, did I miss the Super Chat? Oh, Robert Lane, we rock in the house. Yes, sir, we are. Yes, sir, we are. I like it. I appreciate you, fam. If you went to the spring game, let me know. Let me know what you felt. Let me know how it went. I heard some mixed things. Everybody agrees that it was cold. Everybody agrees that it was windy. Everybody also agrees that one of the best parts was watching Bob get his statue. My favorite part of watching the presser and listening to his speech was him saying over and over, uh, at the beginning, at the beginning, I'm an Oklahoman. I've lived here longer than I've lived anywhere else. Like he claims that now. And he used to say I'm from Ohio, right? He used to say that. And he'd be right to. That's where he's from. That's where he's born. You know, football rich state, went to school at Iowa, but his kids, Drake and Isaac are going to start school here next year, man. You know, and he's been here long as he's been anywhere else. He was the head coach here for 18 glorious years. I'm so glad to see him get a statue. And then he, he had a really cool thing to say about Lincoln, which is given 25, 30 years, he'll have his statue too. I thought that was cool. I thought that was awesome. Let me see. Uh, faux pas art. I've been watching the videos, dog. You're getting better. You're getting better. Uh, Flame 4512 is in here. How many visits? I have not committed yet. Uh, a bunch. A bunch. And, and I'm going to speak to that a little bit later. But uh, what you should know is this is the first time with the new rules, the new NCAA rules, that we could host official visits during the spring game. Right? So it, it's almost like a home game where we would have recruits in on visits. Like the last, one, the last big one that we had like this was Texas Tech. Right? Which is where we turned Buki. Right? That's where we got Buki. That's where Deshaun White flipped. So these kinds of weekends are huge. And Kerry Cooks had something really intelligent to say about it, which is people think that this is crazy. Try doing it when you're playing TCU. Try doing it with 18 kids while you got a game that you got to coach and win. Much respect for guys like Kerry, uh, Kerry Cooks, who's doing the most in recruiting. Kale Gundy, who's doing the most in recruiting. Tim Kish, who's having a hard time coaching his linebackers, but apparently can recruit like Mike. That's why they keep him around. Make it more sense now. He can recruit. <laughs> Uh, we're also seeing Lincoln is great at closing the deal. You know, his, his assistants are doing a great job of setting him up, and he's closing on these kids, right? And he's closing early and often, and we're winning back commits, right? We have kids that decommit. Theo Weiss decommitted. R.J. Henderson decommitted. Derek Green, Derek Green decommitted. And we want him back. So it's not just like they decide that they're going to give up on you because you decommit. I like everything that's going on. It's, it's really hard to pick at, at, at the recruiting of OU because you can't. Right? We're number one in both 24-7 composite and the Rivals.com team rankings. We're just that good. We're just that good at recruiting. Now, man, come on. National championship. I feel it. I feel it. Plus, all these kids that we're getting now, 
they're going to be here for the Nebraska series. The 2020-2021 series between Nebraska and Scott Frost. Woo! I'm excited. It's not. It's like three years down the road. I'm really excited about it. Let me see who else we got in here. Uh, Steel Boy, what up, RJ on the step mill? Nah, not, not right now, fam. Uh, Matthew writing here. Any thoughts on who Riley's second set of eyes might be? I mean, thoughts, yeah. But not, I mean, uh, it, it's probably you, Roscoe. It's probably you. Uh, let me see. Xavier Jones in here. We he say Low Kish and uh, Stoops can recruit, just can't coach. It seems to be the case, man. Although, five men on the line of scrimmage, four men on the line of scrimmage. Run a 4 2 5 now, Mike. You know, run a 4 2 5. To stop having uh, Ronnie Perkins and, and Addison Gums drop back into coverage. I mean, Addison Gums looked like Oboe trying to chase down Kennedy Brooks during spring game. It's nasty. It's nasty. That's not what them dudes do. That's not what them dudes do. Bruh, if we can get a defense. Uh, Chris Weeks, you, you own something. You own something. Let me see. Uh, Frank Mason in here. Sometimes it snows in April. <laughs> Christmas. That's what's up. Uh, who else we got in here? Doom Lears. This is our, this is year, this year is our year. I like that. I like that. Uh, M. Keek says, Buki going against Nebraska, who he decommitted, will be interesting. Uh, you know, we have that every year. You know, we, we have kids that, like, like the Texas roster feels like they tried to beat OU just because most of their kids ended up going to OU. Like, think about this. This is, I've heard this over and over again. Texas this year, the 2019 class in particular, is stupid talented. Like, Texas is normally talented. Uh, Texas is normally the best football state in the country. But this year seems to be especially so. And then think about all the kids that we're getting from Texas to commit, right? Leading the pack are RJ and Theo, right? It's going to be so much fun to say my name for the next five years. <laughs> it's gonna be, people are going to be freaking out. Um, to say nothing of, you know, Eric, Eric Young put OU in his top six on Monday. He's going to see his recruitment out. Chris Steele announced that July 7th he's going to make his decision. He's a kid who's got ties to everybody on this roster. It looked good for him on the spring game this year. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. It not We could not just not only have the number one recruiting class for 2019, we could have it by a large margin. That's where we're at right now. It's not just that we're winning. We're winning by a lot. I like it. Let me see. Zachary, let me see. Zachary says, bring Nebraska back to the Big 12 and then take their commits. I like it. Uh, Xavier Jones says, thoughts on us getting a basketball player from Maine. Aaron, uh, yeah, uh, Kalaxi. So there's two grad transfers that are going to play guard at OU next year. Uh, I think his name's Aaron Kalaxi and Miles Reynolds. Uh, look, man, uh, I don't have any high hopes for this team next year. I'm saying if we make it to the NIT, Lon did his job. Like I said, I at this point, I want us to make the tournament every year. I think that's what o most OU fans would say. But we don't expect them to win national titles. So, like, when they made the Final Four with Buddy and them, that was, that was cake. That was cake. I just don't want us to get embarrassed as a basketball team. That's where I'm at. As far as winning national championships, that's on the football team, that's on the softball team, and that's on the two women's gymna uh, the men's and women's gymnastics team, the two gymnastics teams. After that, just don't get me embarrassed. You know, don't don't embarrass me. Let me see. Uh, can we get Mike Stoops to decommit? <laughs> I would love that. Announce it publicly, Mike. Although I wouldn't see it, he got me blocked on Twitter. Let me see. Uh, Doom Larry says when Texas got Shane Bouchel, or what you call it, they had a losing season. Right now, though, it seems Texas is going to be our toughest game. I hear that, but I, I Lincoln Riley ain't going to get out coached on offense, right? Uh, and that game was 29-24 last year, so it's OU, it's OU Texas every year. But the, the squad that I'm still most, you know, scared of today is West Virginia and Oklahoma State, right? Because Oklahoma State's moving to a 4-2-5, right? And if they look anything like what Gary Patterson can put on the field next year, that's a problem. Now, they're breaking in a new quarterback. They're going to be relying a lot on Justice Hill. They don't know what they have at wide receiver. So, I mean, a lot of people have in the middle of the pack, but I'm saying it's, it's Oklahoma State is always up there for two or three. And Texas, with Tom Herman, it ain't looking good, man. Like, he's on thin ice, my friend. I don't know that Pee Wee's going to be able to make it through another year like he had last year. They want more of Texas. Uh, which OL, uh, OLB is supposed to start? So, the outside linebackers to date at Sam, you got some Ryan Jones, right? Uh, and at the, the Jack linebacker, you got... Addison Gums, Mark Jackson, so forth, so on. Uh, you could also see some Levi Draper at the Sam linebacker. We know the middle of the defense is going to be Kenneth Murray and Caleb Kelly. We know that for sure. There's a lot of uh, talk about what the safety is going to be. Buki was all over the place in the spring game. He could play free safety. He could play strong safety. He could play the nickel. Uh, I think the, uh, I think a lot of folks were trying to say that he, like he's the next Roy Williams. There's no other. There's no next Roy Williams. There, there's never a next Roy Williams. 
uh, as far as being more like Tony Jefferson. I get that. Like, he's built like that, too. And I remember, what was it, Tony's junior year? He had 119 tackles because they just funneled the defense to him because you know, he could make all the tackles. You know, uh, I, I expect him to be more of that role. But also, you didn't see any Robert Barnes. When, and Jordan Parker went on the field. However, really start to pay attention to corner because Trey Brown, Tulsa Union, stand up, uh, is really battling for that number two job because Parnell Motley seemed to have locked down that number one spot. <laughs> That number two, is it looks like it's between two trades, but then Jordan Parker could come out of nowhere. We don't know, you know. Uh, Mark Ross says, we are stacked and jacked. Yes, sir. Uh, what up, R. Jizzle? Yeah, uh, maybe not Jizzle. But RJ's cool. Uh, John Farrell, what's good? Uh, Tom Herman, I like it. M. Key says, Tom Herman just needs to kiss the right people to keep his job. Well, I mean, that seems to be the case at, at Texas, but even that didn't get Mac Brown through some terrible seasons. Just didn't. And, and Charlie Strong, you don't seem like the kind of dude to go out there and kiss the ring. You know, like, I honestly believe they missed when they had a shot to go get Kevin Sumlin and didn't. Because he does all that stuff really well. Uh, but apparently he can't coach a quarterback battle to save his life. Let me see. Because between Kyle Allen and Kyler, he should have done something. But he lost both of them because I guess they weren't treated well. That's what that's what I read on Texas Ags, you know. Uh, let me see. Kirk Perez says, I can see Kenneth Mann going beast mode. Yeah, he's... He's my sleeper at the uh, strong side defensive end spot because every time that man is on the line and he gets a chance to pin his ears back, he goes and he gets somebody. He goes and he destroys somebody. Let me see. Uh, what else we got? What else we got in here? Tyler Pierce says, I'm here, carry on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian Johnson says, hopefully OU gets Daxton, but OSU is sadly more of a possibility. Yeah, so I'm really interested, interested to see what Dax Hill is doing now because – he has to be seeing what's going on at OU. We got at least one safety spot still open that he could take if he wanted it. Uh, now, he's been, you know, linked to Michigan. He's been linked to to, uh, to OSU. He's been even linked to TU, of all places. But it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see when he decides to start leaning one way or another. But we still got spot for you, Dex. We still got a spot. Come get it. Come get it. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Let me see. Xavier Jones says, yeah, seems man will be Big 12 breakout player of the year. Could be, could be. Uh, Buki will be the next Honey Badger, Tony Jefferson. I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. He's a ball hawk, and he likes to tackle. I like that. That, you know, I like that. And he looked good going up against Grant Calcaterra, who's a bigger, stronger person, right? But he still was able to get his hands in between the ball and, and Grant. I like it. I like it. Let me see who else we got in here. Davis Tube. I'm not sure how Khalil Halton will do. Khalil looked good on Saturday. All right. I know a lot of people, you know, you've kind of been in the doghouse and a lot of folks are like he needs to figure out that he's talented and start acting like it. But every time Khalil Houghton seems to get in, he doesn't do terribly. And, and Chance Sylvia have some stuff to say about this, too. But I like him. I've always liked him. I, I you know, I, I don't like him more than I like Robert Barnes, but I like him and I expect him to compete. Let me see. Doom Leary says, who thinks it's going to be a rematch in the college football championship game for OU and Georgia? I want him. Matter of fact, if I had a pick, we would go straight through Miami, Clemson, and Georgia, right? We would go straight through the three of them, and we would destroy everybody, end up with that ring. Speaking of, speaking of Georgia, Auburn took West Division title rings today. So, so they're giving out title rings, one, for winning divisions, and two, you lost the SEC championship. Why are you wearing a ring? Give it back. Nah, why are we giving losers rings now? I'm saying, man, participation participation trophies are wrong, all right? I, I, you know, th at this level, at this level, no, you grown. You grown. This ain't T-ball, you know? You know, this ain't, this ain't you soccer. You know, give that back. Give that back. Let me see. Uh, Yeah, Morris and Jerry and Locke Daxton may look elsewhere unless he ain't afraid of competition. Look. There's nothing wrong with being stacked at safety. My, uh, we, if nothing else, Mike has shown he'll move you, right? We, uh, I mean, Buki was a corner. He's playing safety. You know, uh, Gabe Lynn came at came in as a corner. He played safety. Julian Wilson came in as a corner. He played safety. You know I mean, you know, look, they'll move you. Ryan Jones came in as a safety. He plays linebacker. You know, so I mean, look, if you can play, Mike Stoops apparently wants to put you on the field. He don't want you to learn any one position. He wants you to learn them all. You know, next thing we're going to learn is, is Mike Stoops is trying to move uh, 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 Buki to play defensive end because he's just that kind of athlete. 
I'm saying, man. Nah, Dax, come on. Come on, Dax. We got we got a place for you, fam. I know we do. Uh, let me see here. One of my brothers is a Texas fan, and the other is a Miami, and me, Boomer Sooner, we are Alabamian fun. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't get sued, though, because apparently LeBron is, is suing Nick Saban for, for doing his show. That's funny. It's funny to me when, when rich folks sue each other. <laughs> okay. Like, y'all ain't got enough loot, <laughs> you know? All right. Uh, Coach B, I love my participation trophies. Yeah, I bet you do, fam. I, I bet you do. Uh, RJ for DC. That video is up. RJ for president. Nah, I'm good. I'm straight. That, that's uh, -uh. That's a political job. I don't want no political job. Let me see. Doom Leary says, better yet, first round OU versus Clemson, then championship game out Oklahoma versus Georgia. All right. All right. I could do that. I could do that. You know, because uh, we owe Brent. Venables has got us twice now. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Let me see. Uh, who else we got in here? John Sherrill is, what is the chances of Eric Young? It seems good. And here's the thing. I think all the recruits pay attention to who commits to where, right? And I don't mean as a form of, of competition so much as also I want to play with them, right? I, I think the, the LeBronification of sports is real. Good players want to play with good players, right? We saw that with a, uh, we saw that with with the NBA, and we see it from time to time in the NFL. You see it all the time in high school. Kids want to play together. Fat Five wanted to play together. You know, I, I don't. I see Eric Young looking at all these dudes getting together in the 2019 class for OU, and he's like, I ain't trying. I'm trying to play with them. You know, Chris Boss had to wiggle his way into the heat. You know, everybody was trying to get on that team. I think that's how it's going to be. I think this domino effect is working out. I think you saw the Magnificent Seven get it started. R.J. Henderson, Theo East, that's 10 stars in two hours. And then Jamal Morris is like, nah, I'm on game. I'm on game, right? That's 14 stars in three hours, right? And then you get, and then you got recommitment from Derek Green, right? And then you had a guy like Jay Hayes, who apparently still had eligibility that he could have used that at Notre Dame, graduated, transferred. He said, graduating May, I'm coming to OU. Play for Yako and the Sooners. I, we gonna be nasty. We gonna be nasty in the next couple of years. We, we gonna be filthy, you know? And you got a guy like Lincoln, who not only understands Twitter, which is huge in college football. It's bigger than Facebook. It's bigger than Instagram. Twitter is the place to be for college football sports, all right? He not only understands it, he's harnessing it, right? And you can see with people like Executive Director of Recruiting Annie Hansen and her assistant Caroline and the digital media folks over at the just the athletic department at OU are just doing some miraculous things, some awesome things. I, it's, it's fun here. It's fun. And I think recruits are seeing that. It's a lot of fun to be a Sooner. You know, in this fan base, we're rabid. we fun. Like, if you're on Twitter, you know already. We, that's all we've been doing is just been going, hey, come on down. And then we applaud when you get here. You know, everybody's having a good time on Twitter if you're an Oklahoma fan right now. Everybody. Stars shine bright, deep in the heart of Norman. I like it. True talent breeds talent. That's Rachel. What's up? Uh, Coach B says talent breeds talent. I like it. Uh, let me see. The way it's looking, Oklahoma is forming a super team. I'm fine with that. I'm just fine with that. I want a super team. I want a dynasty. You know, everybody keeps telling me about how Alabama got a dynasty and the defense at Alabama and all this and all that. I want that. I want to run college football. You know, I'm trying to get the Infinity Stone. I'm Thanos, right? Matter of fact, I need to get a journey jersey that says Thanos. Just, just get, just, just get it going. You know, I'm trying to run the college football galaxy right now. You know. Uh, no, no prisoners. No, no prisoners. I'm trying to beat people 100 to zero. I'm trying to put up goose eggs when we play defense and score all the points. I'm trying to turn this in to blitz. Y'all remember NFL blitz? Y'all, 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 y'all millennials, 30, 35 years old. You know what I'm saying? Or you remember when you could just run up the score on Madden because you had Mike Vick? I'm trying to do that at OU. That's what I'm trying to do. Let me see. Uh, Caleb Ryan says our receiving core is going to be scary for a while. Yeah, well, check this out. A uh, stat that I read in the Tampa Bay Times of all places. No team has put more wide receivers or program has put more wide receivers in the NFL over the past decade than Oklahoma. We put 10 wideouts in the NFL. 10. That's more than OSU. That's more than Alabama. That's more than Miami. That's way more than Florida State. That's more than anybody else in college football. We are wide receiver you. You want to play wide receiver? You better come through. That's all I'm saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL? You need to come to Norman. That, that's the way it is. Lol, I'm getting, I'm wearing a Galactus shirt to the premiere next week. Hey, 
Hey, I already got my Black Panther gear. I'm ready. I got my tickets for April 26th. It's 6 p.m. Me and Laurel gonna go. We gonna have a great time. I'm trying, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I got Loki dying. Loki gonna die. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry a little bit. I'm gonna cry a little bit. But Loki gonna die. Let me see. Uh, CD, what, what we got? CD breakout this year with the guys. Yes, yeah, I mean, he put on a lot of weight. He looked good. Mark Hill, uh, Mar uh, Marquise, Marquise Brown looked good. Jalen Craw Quaylen Crawford looked good when he got some game, right? Uh, Michael Jones is going to have to fight for his job. Matter of fact, everybody's job. Everybody's job is suspect, right? From the quarterback on down. Everybody's job is suspect. How do you stop? Rattler, Weiss, Henderson, Bridges, Stogner. I don't know. And you know what? That ain't my problem. <laughs> That's everybody else's problem. That ain't my problem, fam. That's everybody else's problem. I ain't got to worry about how to stop him. I just got to go, whoop, there go that man. Whoop, there go that man. Six, 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 everywhere you look. I ain't got to worry about that. I'm so excited. We, we too deep. Oh, we too deep. I like it. I like it. Let me see. I low-key like Sutton to Davis. Ooh, yeah. Marcellia Sutton looked real good, you know. Kennedy Brooks averaged 11 yards per carry, you know. Uh, slight work. We all right. We all right. I mean, we so all right. Let me see what else we get. RJ is on fire. Nah, I'm just having a good time, man. I'm just having Goku Ultra Instinct mode. Oh, you offense. Defense by garbage can. <laughs> hey, hey, for real. We about to go Super Saiyan Blue on college football. I'm I'm so look, me and Brody, you know, me and Krill. Man, Krill ain't gonna man. Oh, I'm so hype. I'm so hype. Oh, I'm a Dragon Ball Z right now. <laughs> Let me see Taylor Morgan. Any other 2018 recruits that aren't on campus yet that you think can start contribute? Uh, Deshaun White. He ain't here yet. Uh, Deshaun White, uh, outside linebacker, some Sam. I think he could play uh, when he gets here. Uh, RJ, who is the War Daddy commit today? Uh, War Daddy. War, War Daddy. What do you call them War Daddy commit? Are you, are you talking about Are you talking about Jonathan Perkins, dude at 5 o'clock? Let me see. I like We Too Deep thing you had in the last video. I appreciate that. Uh, I know some people didn't like the flash editing that I was doing. Like I said, I'm trying to raise the level of production on the channel continually. That's me reinvesting the super chat, me reinvesting the Patreon dollars that you guys give every month. Uh, I'm trying to show you what that looks like. It's better software. I mean, have you, as you noticed here the last couple of weeks, there's been no live stream fails because there's better software that I've been able to buy. Uh, there's better camera equipment that I've been able to afford. Like when you look at the videos, you see crystal clear 1080p now, right? And I'm using Final Cut to edit the videos now, right? And now, like like Sunday, I think it was like the Agent Edward on Twitter was like, can we get a, a Jerry into, uh, to Norman video for Twitter, just for Twitter, like something short. And I was able to chop that up real quick, put that out there. And I like to think it had a little bit to do with him committing. Might not have had anything at all to do with him committing. But I was able to do that kind of stuff because of what you guys do with the Super Chat and what you do with Patreon. So I, I appreciate that. Let me see. Lincoln is Majin Boo. <laughs> I like it. Uh, let me see. Uh, I think I like to think Lincoln is more like Master Roshi, although that might be Bob. Maybe that's Bob. Let me see. Uh, Ruffin tweeted his eyes. I assume that's D line, unless it includes a linebacker. Hey, I would love for it because like I saw some I, I saw some folks who was talking about talk to me about Boomer Sooner with 2019 DL targets. Uh, I wish I had the name at, at my fingertips, but I don't. Uh, we're going to have to wrap it up here in just a little bit. So if you're in the chat, say what's up. I'm going to start calling out folks while we continue to, to try to just geek a little bit more about these rankings. So real quick, real quick, I, what the other thing that I want to do is give everybody a, a rundown of all the commits that we have for the 2019 class so you know exactly what we have before things go bonkers again, right? Because I know that's the one thing that a lot of folks have been trying to look at. So here's the commitments list starting from the top on down. Or from the bottom on down, if you want to talk about Jonathan Perkins. So, Jonathan Perkins, linebacker, uh, three-star record. These are rivals, stars. We talked about that early in the stream while I'm going rival stars. Uh, Jerrion Jones, three-star recruit. Uh, Derek Green, D-tackle. He's a three-star recruit. Theo Weiss, wide receiver, five-star recruit. RJ Henderson, wide receiver, five-star recruit. Jamal Morris, safety, four-star recruit. Corey Robertson, uh, Roberson, excuse me. He's a defensive end, three-star recruit. Uh... Trajan Bridges, right, who apparently did a lot of recruiting to get Theo and RJ here, is a uh, four-star recruit, wide receiver. And then Spencer Rattler, four-star recruit, quarterback. And Austin Stogner, four-star recruit, 
tight end. We too deep. We, 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 we too deep. All right, so let me see. Andrew Southie says, later, I see you, fam. Let me see. Manatee Power in the house. Brian Johnson in the house. Steel Boy in the house. Manatee Power, I see you. Doom Lurius in the house. Mark Riles, what's good? Devin Gilmore stays in here. Gerald Mosley, what's good? Davis Tube, I like it. Cannonball Airsoft. Xavier Jones Jr., I like it. Steel Boy in here. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I, I know Mama Savage. Mama Savage is in here. Brian Johnson is in here. I know Robert Lane was in here. Coach B was in here. Rachel Herrera was in here. All dropping super chats like crazy. Uh, let me see who else we had in here. Let me see. Tyler Pierce was in here. John Farrell's in here. Mario Ibarra, what's good, fam? Han Solo was in here. Let me see. Kirk Perez was in here. Let me see. Frakowski! I get it right this time, Josh? Uh, if I didn't, I'm working on it, man. Let me see. I know earlier Matthew Wright was in here. Wolf G. Sooner was in here. Daniel Torres was in here. Richard B. was in here. Uh, let me see. What else we got? David Prater was in here. Randy Brand was in here. Flame4512, what's good? Jake Small, I see you, fam. Caleb Rines, what's good? Yeah, we way too deep. M. Keeg's in here. Laura, what's good? Let me see. Going once, going twice. I know that Terry Beckham watches the streams. Sydney Tillery was in, in enemy behind enemy lines today for her job. She was in Stillwater. Shout out to her. Let me see. Uh, hey, I got it right. That's what's up, Josh. Shout out to Weapon X and Brave and their mom, Laurel. Uh, it's my girlfriend. All right. That's it. Oh, JSL. JSL made it. I like it. That's what's up. All right. That's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.